Hello students, today we will discuss about the properties of matrix addition and also multiplication of matrices. To begin with, the addition of matrices satisfy the following properties. First, commutative law. If A and B are matrices of the same order, say M by N, then A plus B is equal to B plus A. Second, associative law. A plus B plus C is equal to A plus B plus C. Property 3, existence of additive identity. If matrix A, B and M by N matrix and an M by N 0 matrix, then A plus O is equal to O plus A that is equal to A. O is the additive identity for matrix addition. Property 4, the existence of additive inverse A plus of minus A is equal to minus A plus A is equal to 0. Minus A is the additive inverse of A. Let us take up one example. Find the values of x and y if 2 into x5 7 y minus 3 plus 3 minus 4 1 2 is equal to 7 6 15 14. For the solution, let us take up LHS 2 into x5 7 y minus 3 plus 3 minus 4 1 2 that can be simplified as 2 into x as 2 x 2 into 5 10 2 into 7 14 2 into y minus 3 is 2 y minus 6 plus 3 minus 4 1 2 that is equated to the RHS 7 6 15 and 14. Now adding the corresponding elements of two matrix we have 2x plus 3 as the first element, 10 minus 4 as the second element of the first row, 14 plus 1 as the first element of second row and 2y minus 6 plus 2 as the second element of second row. That is equal to 7, 6, 15, 14. Now equating the corresponding elements we get to equations 2x plus 3 is equal to 7 and 2y minus 6 plus 2 is equal to 14. This on solving we get 2x is equal to 7 minus 3 that is 4 and we get the value of x as 2. From the second equation we get 2y is equal to 14 plus 4 that is 18 and 2y is equal to 18 is the equation giving us the value y is equal to 9. Multiplication of matrices. The product of two matrices A and B is defined if the number of columns of A is equal to the number of rows of B. Let A be a matrix of order M by N and B be a matrix of order N by P then the product of A and B is the matrix C of order M by P. To understand the operation of multiplication, let us see one example. Find A into B if matrix A is 6, 9, 2, 3 and B is 2, 6, 0, 7, 9, 8. For the solution, the matrix A has two columns which is equal to the number of rows of B. Hence, product AB is defined as to find the product AB, look at the screen, you will find 6 multiplied by 2 plus 9 into 7. What we are doing is multiplying the elements of first row with the elements of first column. Similarly, multiplying elements of first row with the second column will give us the second element of first row namely 6 into 6 plus 9 into 9 and for the third element of first row we multiply 6 into 0 
plus 9 into 8 that means elements of first row are multiplied with elements of third column. Now coming to the second row we have here 2 multiplied by 2 plus 3 into 7 this gives us second element of first column. Now coming to second element of second column 2 multiplied by 6 plus 3 multiplied by 9. Third element of second row we get by multiplying 2 into 0 plus 3 into 8. On simplifying we get 12 plus 63, 36 plus 81, 0 plus 72 as the elements of first row and 4 plus 21, 12 plus 27, 0 plus 24 as elements of second row. On simplification we get the matrix as 75, 117, 72 as elements of first row, 25, 39 and 24 as elements of second row. Here there is a special remark to be made. If AB is defined, then BA need not be defined. In the above example, AB is defined, but product BA is not defined because B has 3 columns while A has only 2 and not 3 rows. If A and B are respectively of order M by N and K by L matrices, then both AB and BA are defined if and only if N is equal to K and L is equal to M. In particular, if both A and B are square matrices of the same order, then both AB and BA are defined. Now let us discuss about the non-commutativity of multiplication of matrices. Here we shall see by an example that even if product AB and BA are both defined, it is not necessary that AB is equal to BA. Now look for an example on your screen. If A is equal to 1 minus 2, 3 minus 4, 2, 5 and matrix B having 2, 3, 4, 5 and 2, 1 as elements then find product AB and BA. Also show that product AB is not equal to BA. Look at the solution here. Since A is a 2 by 3 matrix and B is 3 by 2 matrix, hence product AB and BA are both defined and are matrices of order 2 by 2 and 3 by 3 respectively. Note that product AB is 1 minus 2, 3 minus 4, 2, 5 multiplied by 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 1 is obtained as 2 minus 8 plus 6, 3 minus 10 plus 3 as elements of first row, minus 8 plus 8 plus 10 as element of second row and minus 12 plus 10 plus 5 as second element of second row that is equal to 0 minus 4 10 3 and product BA is obtained by taking matrices 2 3 4 5 2 1 multiplied by 1 minus 2 3 minus 4 2 5. This on simplification we get 2 minus 12 minus 4 plus 6, 6 plus 15 as 3 elements of first row. Similarly, 4 minus 20 minus 8 plus 10, 12 plus 25 as elements of second row, 2 minus 4 minus 4 plus 2, 6 plus 5. They are the elements of third row. On simplifying, we can see that the elements are minus 10 to 21, minus 16 to 37, minus 2, minus 2, 11. Clearly, product A into B is not equal to B into A. In this example, both A into B and B into A 
are of different order and so product A B is not equal to product B A. But one may think that perhaps product A B and B A could be the same if they were of the same order, but it is not so. Here there is an example to show that even if product A B and B A are of same order, they may not be same. For example, if A is equal to 1 0 0 minus 1 and B is equal to 0 1 1 0, then product A B 0 1 minus 1 0 and product B A is 0 minus 1 1 0. Clearly, product A B is not equal to product B A. Thus, matrix multiplication is not commutative. This does not mean that product A B is not equal to B A. For every pair of matrices A and B for which product A B and B A are defined. For instance, if A is equal to 1 0 0 2 and B matrix is equal to 3 0 0 4, then product A B is equal to B A that is equal to 3 0 0 8. Observe that multiplication of diagonal matrices of same order will be commutative. Now, let us see 0 matrix as the product of 2 non-zero matrices. Is it not interesting? We know that for real numbers A and B, if A B is 0, then either A is 0 or B is 0. This need not be true for matrices. We will observe this with an example here. Find A B if matrix A is equal to 0 minus 1, 0, 2 and matrix B is equal to 3, 5, 0, 0. Look at the solution on the screen. We have A B is equal to 0 minus 1, 0, 2 into 3, 5, 0, 0. On simplification, we get a 0 matrix of order 2, 0, 0, 0, 0. Thus, if the product of two matrices is a 0 matrix, it is not necessary that one of the matrix is a 0 matrix. Now, let us discuss about some properties of multiplication of matrices. First property, the associative law. For any three matrices A, B and C, we have A into B into C is equal to A into B into C. Whenever both sides of the equality are defined. Second property, the distributive law. For three matrices A, B and C, we have first A into B plus C is equal to A into B plus A into C and second A plus B into C is equal to A into C plus B into C whenever both sides of the equality are defined. Third property, the existence of multiplicative identity. For every square matrix A, there exists an identity matrix of same order such that I into A is equal to A into I that is equal to matrix A. So, students, today we discussed about the properties of matrix addition matrix multiplication and also matrix multiplication operation. In the next session, we shall discuss about transpose of a matrix, symmetric matrix, skew symmetric matrix and how to calculate inverse of a matrix. Thank you.